Okay, that's just coming from the recording. And yes, there's another one of these guys. One of those floating guys with tokens. How do we hit him? Well, there's only one good way to do it. And that's simply to draw him over here. And, um... Yeah, simply do that. I was trying to be careful. And, uh, if this doesn't indicate anything, or foreshadow anything, yeah, we're getting a new type of weapon very soon. But now, let's go ahead and explore this brand new area. And let me tell you something. This area is a little bit annoying on my to me. And I have my reasons why I think this is annoying. Once again, when I was younger, I had no idea there was another floor to this. In fact, let me tell you this. You're not mandatory, it's not mandatory to actually rescue the second, or actually the third, beaver in this area. It's not mandatory. Now you may wonder, why is it not mandatory? Don't ask me why, but for some reason it's the only... It's the only optional animal you can actually rescue. How do I know this? Because multiples of times when I played this game as a kid, played this area as a kid, yeah, that's all I knew about. I only knew it as a area where essentially you can only get two beavers. The dirt beaver was a lie. <sighs> of course, that later on lied to me, and. Okay, can't review. Also, I want to check this real fast. Okay. Yeah. You know. After four, over four years, I still wonder how in the world did I get Ixnum out. I know you're not gonna understand that, but... But, um, maybe I'll mention that much later on in the world. But, um, essentially... You're, you're repairing it in the wrong direction, Wallace. But yeah, I done it said X num instead of enough. How did I get X num out of it? I don't know. I I still don't know how I got X num out of that. It's been four years. I still don't know how I got X num out of that. Essentially, like I said, I done. I I've done practice let's plays of games before, and this is actually one of them. This is actually the first l game that I'm let's playing that I've done a practice let's play of. Which is kind of weird. Actually, I was considering doing this as my first Let's Play, I think. But, um... I don't know what made me decide... No, you know what, we're not gonna do Wallsprung Project Zoo first. We're gonna do, um... Um... Well, obviously, Super Mario Land 2 was my first Let's Play, but... That was because I didn't have a dazzle at the time. Okay... Let's go over here to collect another golden tool. And... Hit this light, hit this light, hit this light, thank you. And get another token. I say get another token. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You, you may have heard a sound effect. Let me tell you this. I'm pushing X. The game registered as if I was holding down the X button, so it made it move up. That will happen occasionally, and I have a feeling that is going to be a cause of some deaths at times. So yeah, if I complain about any deaths, you know why. Oh, I can't repair this. And that poster is all glitched up. And what the heck is the point of going up here? 
Oh, 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 okay. It was to find enough tools. Because you need six tools here to repair this. We already have seven tools, but we can't get the weapon just yet. It, Which, uh, by the way, there's only seven tools we can get right now, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and rescue the beaver right now. And, yeah. Again, all references of zoo stuff is uh, pretty much forgotten. Except for these animals, that's really the only reference of zoo stuff, period. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you're like, wait, why is it called Lost Ground Project Zoo when it's not even... I don't even get that pun. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't get that pun. But, uh, here we go. Here's some useful bits. There you go, lad. One porridge gun. Now's your chance to be a serial killer. <laughs> you know, it took me a while to realize. Oh, okay, so I know how to spell serial. I wonder how that could be gummed up. All right, so yeah, now we got a porridge gun, which could be used, which has the most ammo of any weapon, but it's also the heaviest, or at least, actually, it's one of the heaviest. So you can't jump with it, but it. It acts like a machine gun. By so you can hold down the beep button. And now we can go up there. Yeah, but we can't do anything about it just yet, so we need to explore around a little bit more. Grab this tool before it annoys the heck out of me. And make sure I don't sneeze. I apologize, but seriously, I feel like sneezing today for whatever reason. Also, here's another tool. That is why I'm gonna repeat right now. That is how you can just beat this level without um, rescuing the third beaver. Because if you go to the next generator, uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. You can actually go back, you can just figure it out your way to the end of the level because let me tell you this right now I don't know what it is with me but for some reason I got lucky or unlucky rather to never hit the to never hit it this the up again I always hit down again so I never knew there was a third floor but now I'm older because you know you know cuz uh, more recent playthroughs so now I know what to do, but, you know, that's how less plays are. You don't- what in the world? Okay. Uh, okay, that's like the worst camera view ever. Okay, there we go. Alright, we need to go back down there for the token. Uh, actually, you know what? Whee! Okay, I think the note. Water softens your fall. So if you want to land in the water, if you're up from a f up from afar, if you can't land on water, then yeah, you're pretty much uh, better off just simply taking a softer route or a longer route. At any rate, let's go over here and. Uh, and there we go. That was easy. Okay, now we can grab this token if, I, if the game will allow me. Okay. Now we can go across this bridge or these rails. And do two things. Now, I'm gonna use this primarily for targets because it has the most ammo and it can be very useful for that kind of purpose. Wow, first try. 
and my controller was rumbling. Like, great. Okay, that never happened before. But yeah, my controller was actually rumbling like crazy. A line that I've used before, though you guys will never know it because I didn't, um, haven't uploaded something like that. Okay. This is kind of, um, interesting scenario. Yeah, you kind of have to take the hits unless you want to take your time and jump over the silly mine cards. But otherwise, two free tokens. It works. And now comes the fun part. No, seriously, this is really fun. I, I, pr I, I promise you, this is really, really fun. Also, fun fact, these lights are hanging up on nothing. Where are these lights uh, glowing at? I never... Again, I don't understand where these lights are glowing at. And, oh. If you want to, you could take a less, um... A, a, a safer route by waiting till that... Well, here, I'll show you. I mean, this is actually not what you want to do, you know, go for that. You know, wait here, and then go across. Except, a little bit more cautiously than I did. Yes, it is very possible to fall down. Yes, I've done it before. And yes, uh, the ladder can be placed on top of that, on top of this little gap. Is it possible to get up on the ladder? Yes, it is. Is it annoying? Yeah, I think it is a little. I can't remember. Alright, so let's um, get this beaver out from, from the acid below into safety. And booyah. Um, oh. You know, I'm not sure if you can release the cage and um, toss it into the acid. And yes, that's another thing to note. Uh, the grommet will wave at the animals. But another thing to note is that the beavers, if they're working, beavers anyways, we'll find a use for this, and no mistake. they will uh, stick them up if you have your gun out. Which is kind of interesting. Stick their hands up. I don't remember what does this do. Nothing. What a waste of time. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that generator going. Because I don't think there is much else we can do right now. Other than getting a couple more tokens along the way. But beyond that, yeah, we're pretty much almost done here. Okay, um... Sorry about that, guys. Uh, frame rate. But not frame rate. Frame skip problem yet again. I apologize. Eventually, I probably will try to aim for another capture card. I think I'll stay put. You'll stay put, and yet you're coming over here. Another thing you could do is if once you whistle, you can actually uh, just watch Wallace's AI approach to where you're heading, or where he's heading. It's kind of interesting. It's something to do. On you go, lad. And, yeah. I kind of forgot what I was talking about earlier, but I don't think it was saying anything too important. Alright, so now... We have... One thing to do. Getting Wallace up there. I wonder how we can get up there. And Gromit's... Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, don't usually do that, but okay, I'll take it. You know, um, because I actually sped run through this, even if I edit this all out, this is actually gonna be all in one part for some reason. Not sure why. But, uh, yeah. 
Though I don't know why in the world that poster is placed wrong. No, I, I'm serious. It's just half there. Looks like some kind of landing area. Ooh. Crikey, that's some drainage, that is. Now, this would have been a perfect opportunity to force players to find 10 golden rules. Like, this would have been the only opportunity in the game to do such. Do they do it? Of course not. They only allow you to get 9. Which means that you are not forced to find the beaver at all. Which is why it bothered the heck out of me to the reason why I couldn't find whatsoever the beaver that was missing. Because for some reason or another the game wouldn't indicate what I needed to do. Even though I was a kid and I should have had the common sense to think, oh well the switch is up and has down. I never noticed that. But then again, we had standard TVs back then, so that's going to be my excuse. Okay, there's still two. It's 23, we get 24. I actually missed a token somewhere, so I'm going to have to explore around because I remember there being one or two. Token. Yeah, there's Wallace right there, but I missed one part particular token somewhere, so I'm gonna have to find it. That didn't take long to find, actually, but I wasn't actually supposed to... Actually, I think I had to get up here in this fashion. But yeah, this is annoying. You have to time it. And with the camera view that bad, it's a little difficult to do something like that. Oh, come on! We're almost done with this level. World. Whatever. I never know what to call it. Okay. I would say, hey, hey viewers, uh, what do I need to call this? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, come on. What I did right there was a very pointless backflip. What does the backflip do? Uh, or how do you maneuver it? What you need to do is go near a wall and push the R button. Or roll close to it. And then... Gromit will uh, do a somersault across it. It's very pointless. And. Okay, that's interesting. My worst enemy was not even those drills, it was some. It was actually myself being an idiot. Anything new there? No. That was close. And uh, nope. I like to do thanks the hard way. Oh fudge. Yep, that was close. And yeah, this Rummy. is the end. Rummy, no, just in time. How do you like my twin tub gyrocopter? I'm specially proud of these. Afterburners, lad. Should get us down there, all right? No time for a test flight, though. Just have to give it some welly and hold on. Ready for takeoff, squadron leader Gromit? Alright, so time for the second ending of the level. Okay, that panicked me for a moment. I thought it wouldn't load. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. It's feathers with nowhere to 
Ronnie. Go get him, Gromit. Alright, so time for a not so much of a boss. Those nitro bottles might just help speed us up. You hold down the A button to use your nitro. Look out! Now, another thing to note, you see that meter that was originally the boss meter? That is now our meter. I think. I really don't know, honestly. Because this meter is like impossible to read, there is no indicator of what it is. But. Okay, yeah, that is our meter. Ouch. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna let you do your job. I'm being in too much of a hurry. Ouch! Don't land in the lava. I don't blame you, Wallace. Ah, ah, ah. Why was that camera view like that? Okay, a couple more hits and I'm pretty much dead. Okay, this is the end portion. This is pretty easy, though. And you want to make sure you get in this door, because, yeah, you could die at that point, because the door will shut. Hey, look, lad, the penguin has landed. He's not getting away this time. Take her down, lad, gently. Ooh. Hold it right there, you. Hop to it, lad. Come quietly, and Gromit won't hurt you. There now. I promise I'll tell the authorities how you cooperated. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you should leave the inventing to us professionals. Your trapdoor's stuck. Alright, so, uh... Oh, it, it did do a glitch uh, screen like it did that one recording. But, uh, yeah, that... I think that will pretty much conclude the mine world. So next time, we're going to go to world 3, or level 3, whichever it is. And, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Later.